How's it going everyone? Matt Roberts from Salt Lake City Bookkeeping. Today I'm going to do a quick video demonstration on recording MindBody Online daily sales into QuickBooks. MindBody Online is a popular POS system with yoga studios, gyms, and anyone in the health and wellness industry. Um, I'm going to show you how to find your MindBody daily closeout report, how to create a QuickBooks sales journal entry and memorize it, and some of the common problems you might encounter when you're doing this. So if we switch over to MindBody here, I have a screenshot of logging in. You would go to Reports and Daily Closeout. What you want to do is select One Day Sales, and I've done 918 here. And you need to just select One Day because that's how funds hit your account through merchant processing typically. So if we pull up our sample company here in QuickBooks, I've created a memorized journal entry that goes through and details out this um, sales report. And you can see I've linked cash to undeposited funds because that's where it needs to go. It doesn't go directly to your bank account. It gets held until you deposit it and then you move it from undeposited funds to your bank account through the QuickBooks record deposits function. The next line is Amex and I've linked that to the bank account as well as Visa and MasterCard on a separate line. The next account, even though it's zero, I've set up as an expense account called Comp and you would debit that account if there were anything. This would be account money used, the next line, and I hit a liability account there. And that brings us down to gift certificates redeemed, which there weren't any, but that also hits a liability account and debits. Into your sales categories, you can set up as many as you want, and I've kept it very simple. Yoga sales hits an income account. Your next one is all the products, and I've summarized all of these into retail sales income account. You then have gift certificates purchase, which hits the same liability account, as well as the payments on account, same account as used before, other current liability. And the last portion would be your sales tax, which would be shown right here, the $4.17 on this report hits the other current liability sales tax account. So once you have that set up, it's important to get all of the account types right, which is detailed out in the blog article. Um, once you have that set up in QuickBooks, what you want to do is hit Edit Memorize General Journal. I already have it set up, so I'd hit Add. Call it whatever you like. Click Do Not Remind Me and hit OK. That's going to save it on your Memorize report list, which I'll show you right here. List, memorize transaction list, yoga daily sales. If I open it, it automatically recalls the last transaction. Then it's just as simple as pulling up my next day's sales and filling that in. Um, I want to definitely point out about the account and gift certificates, why those are liabilities. It's because when you sell or redeem, a, you know, if you sell a gift certificate, that's a liability to you and the sale is recognized when someone comes in to redeem that. So when you set up the liability, it would be right here through the purchase and then someone comes and redeems it and that drives down the liability. Um, the last thing I want to point out is the problems that you might face with your credit cards. Um, I've noticed that with MindBody, it doesn't always settle the way you think it might according to the sales report and it has to do with this section down here swiped and keyed I want to pull up another report here um, this is the settlement details for the previous day so when we were looking at this report 918 the settlement data is actually for the previous day um, you may find that your swiped and keyed transactions settle separately from one another and if that's the case, then you unfortunately have to modify your journal entry to accommodate that. Um, but that's just a real quick uh, demonstration there on how to record MindBody sales into QuickBooks. If you have questions on this or anything else QuickBooks or bookkeeping related, feel free to reach out. Have a good one.